the relativists and the general cosmologists today. They just keep rattling, prattling on into their mathematical, you know, gibberish, uh, you know, for coming up with all these formulas that have no basis in reality. And, uh, you know, just asking for more billions and billions in funding to do absolutely nothing but circle jerk each other with bullshit theories. Hello everybody, I'm Mango Thunderslice and today's the Drive Time Lightning Rant video which I haven't done for a little while because usually the quality isn't as good as the videos that I do with the rig set up at home but I just had to today because today is May 29th, 2019. 100 years ago was May 29th, 1919 which on that day happened to be a full total solar eclipse. And uh, a uh, British lord on that day, Sir Arthur Eddington, decided to go down to South Africa 100 years ago today to try and measure the uh, deflection of light of a star bent around the sun during the total solar eclipse. The purpose of this was to verify Einstein's theory of general relativity. The only problem is it was like trying to go and measure a molecule with a yardstick. He essentially was trying to measure a light deflection of a couple of arc seconds, basically with a sensitivity of, on, of 100 arc seconds, or 1 one hundredth of an arc second. And his instruments were basically at most, at most precision to the level of one arc minute, you know, uh, giving extreme benefit of the doubt, maybe several arc seconds. But in absolutely no way was the experiment sensitive or accurate enough to measure one one hundredth of an arc second. So the entire premise of the article is complete nonsense. Not the article, the experiment, excuse me. Anyway, so 1990, there's articles going up today saying, Oh, 100 years ago today, Einstein was proven correct. No, he wasn't. It was a completely fraudulent event. Examine the story of it and you will find that it was just a giant con job from start to finish to set up, essentially, this theory as the new governing standard of the scientific world. And they definitely succeeded in that because people are mostly dumb and they will follow whatever they think smarter people are saying to them. The only problem is that most people who think themselves to be smart are also very dumb. <laughs> I admit I do dumb things myself sometimes, but you gotta learn to be a child sometimes, otherwise you're gonna die young. <laughs> anyway, you know, I just had to say something today. Light speed has never been verified to be a constant, never at all. What they have done with the experiments they claim prove general relativity is to minimize the light invariance, right? The uh, anisotropy of the speed of light, which is to say, the, uh, the, or the isotropy of the speed of light is essentially the uniform speed throughout all frames of reference, the pinnacle, you know, uh, point of general relativity that, uh, you know, is supposedly its, you know, most true aspect. It's not. It's complete bullshit. Light speed is not a constant. It is variable based on the, you know, density of the medium it's going through and the density of the medium is constantly in flux because we are not in a gravitational vacuum of space, we are in the ether. It is all a medium. It all has refractive potential. And we have plasma flows going throughout the universe. Of course, general cosmology and astronomy today does not even acknowledge its existence, but of course it has been proven. The electric universe guys are the future of science. They are already going forward with the attitude that they have the experimental truth and the answer, because they do. Meanwhile, the relativists and the general cosmologists today, they just keep rattling, prattling on into their mathematical, you know, gibberish, uh, you know, for coming up with all these formulas that have no basis in reality, and, uh, you know, just asking for more billions and billions in funding to do absolutely nothing but circle jerk each other with bullshit theories. Right? I've got no tolerance for it anymore. I hope you've realized that by now. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to uh, kick it up a notch from here, and I'm just going to basically pull out the punches and just start swinging a sledgehammer at all these bullshit theories. Because, uh, you know, I've been plenty polite, and it seems like people actually enjoy it when I get a little more uh, fired up. So I, I aim to oblige. So anyway, yeah, I, uh, Einstein was a, a total fraud. You know, it would be one thing if his theory was just bullshit and he himself was a moral person, a good person, but he was a terrible person. He was a degenerate piece of shit. You know, he abandoned his child, he abandoned his wife, 
and he abandoned his wife in order to marry his cousin, okay? He abandoned his wife to marry his cousin, right? Oh yeah, such a good guy, Einstein. Not a total degenerate piece of shit at all, right? And he traveled all around the world using his fake, false, uh, you know, a scientific accolades to basically sleep with women all over the world. He was a degenerate piece of shit. And nobody of, of any <laughs> mental alacrity should think this guy is some paragon to be followed or someone to be uh, worshipped or idolized. He was a joke. He was a fraud. He was propped up by the priestcraft uh, to basically give the people some semblance of a truth. Meanwhile, they would keep the real truth hidden, which is the reality of universal, you know, uh, connecting medium, i.e. the ether, right? The spiritual aspect of the electric universe and the science of basically the soul, right? That there is, uh, the, everything in this universe is electric. Chemical bonding is an electric phenomenon. Biology, which is premised on chemistry, is an electric phenomenon, right? The sun is not just the sun creating heat and uh, by uh, fusing particles. It's, it's a giant electrical dynamo that is transforming uh, current coming from space through a great, you know, uh, electrical uh, flow of energy, and it's converting it just like a transformer on the poles that you see on the light, uh, on the, on the light poles, right? The transmission lines and the distribution lines. You have transformers basically converting, you know, high current, low voltage into high voltage, low current. Or maybe I have a background. I'm not an electrical engineer, but I know enough to, to know uh, essentially what a transformer is. The sun is a transformer, right? The climate is an electric phenomenon. It is all governed by the sun, but, you know, it's, <laughs> it's all hidden from us because if people were to understand how everything is connected and how the true science is also the true religion, they would be uh, ungovernable. They would be free people. They would be truly living in the kingdom of heaven with their only ruler as the spirit of Christ on this planet, which is to say the archetype of the perfect human being in full resonance and, uh, you know, alignment with the, uh, the power of God, right? The power of the universe, the fractal electric current that binds everything. The, the force, it binds us all together as Obi-Wan would say. But uh, yeah, so Einstein's bullshit. Um, celebrate this day by uh, knowing that the dark spell has run its course one full century and now it shall be booted from the plane and shut out the airlock because we've got big ship popping going forward and it's an electric universe and uh, nobody is going to, you know, tell me what, uh, what uh, you know, the truth is because I have eyes to see and ears to hear and, uh, you know, I, I will keep discovering the truth as I have been and I'll keep sharing it with all you. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a great journey. I, I encourage you guys, you know, even if you don't even like <laughs> this video or any of the other videos, if you're a subscriber and you've been around for a while, I encourage you just to hit the like button anyway. You know, uh, leave a comment, even if it's not even that uh, important of a comment, because, you know, the algorithm is definitely trying to shut down anybody who is not, you know, on the mainstream frequency right now. And I would really like to see these videos get more traction. I know a lot of you guys are already doing that, and I definitely appreciate you. I appreciate all the conversation, and, you know, again, we're going to keep going forward from here and spreading the truth and destroying the illusions like a big old wrecking ball on the etheric plane. But, yeah, speed of light is not a constant. Einstein's a fraud. Eddington was a total joke. Pretty much all of the Royal Scientific Academy is, uh, is a joke. Uh, anybody who looks to the English crown to tell them what the truth is should probably be in a padded room uh, <laughs> at this point. But uh, anyway, yep, that's my video today. Uh, spread the truth. Einstein was a fraud. I'll put a couple thumbnails here in the end uh, for you to actually dive into the science of the claims that I'm making and show uh, for yourself and to show others exactly why Einstein was a fraud, exactly why this scientific, pseudo-scientific worldview that we're being fed is just a crock of baloney. And uh, it's really easy. It's really easy to disprove it once you start understanding just the fundamentals of the theory and stop being hoodwinked and bamboozled by all this meaningless, incomprehensible, super complex math. Again, math is very good. It's very useful. I have nothing against math as long as it's connected to reality and it's tested via experiment. If it's not, it's worse than useless. It's literally, <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, as useful as an asshole on your elbow, which actually, that might be more useful than relativity. <laughs> yeah, it might, be, uh, it might be easier on certain bathroom breaks. But anyway, I hope you guys are all having a great day, a great week, and a great lifetime, and I will see you next time. Cheers.